Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So a few weeks ago, I had a go using some whiskey staves to make a project. I made this garden truck and I was pleased with how it looked, but I've got a couple of these staves left and some scraps. So I wanna try using them up. So my idea is to make three really simple projects just to show how they can be used. Now the first two projects are gonna be basically the same size. So I'm gonna find the center point of the two long staves and mark out an equal distance from either side and get it cut down on the bandsaw. Then I can use the belt sander to give the whole thing a clean up and I want these to attach to the wall so I want the ends to have a flat spot. So I'm gonna use the belt sander to kind of sand away a flat spot at either end. So I've got those all sanded down and now they sit nicely on the bench or against a wall. And what I want to do is turn these into some tea light holders. Now I've got these little brass cups that the tea lights sit in and I've got a falsen a bit the correct size so I can mark out where I want three holes to go. Then I can go down to the garage where I've got my drill press and get those holes drilled out. So that's basically done really simple, but I think interesting and look great down the center of the table. Now it does need some finish on it, but I'm not gonna do it yet because I've got two more projects. I'm gonna finish them all at the same time. So next, I wanna make a beer bottle opener. Well, not really make one. I've got this nice cast iron one, and I'm just gonna attach that to a bit of whiskey stave, a little off cut. But I want a way of collecting the bottle caps, stop them dropping to the floor. So I'm gonna use some of these magnets so what I'm gonna do is go back in the garage and drill through these, not quite all the way, going as far through as I possibly can to get the magnets as close to the surface. While I'm in the garage and at the drill, I'm gonna cut some plugs to fill these holes. Now I can get some super glue put into the holes, the magnets pushed into place, and then some plugs glued in to fill the holes up. So that's the glue all dried on these. So now I can sand them flush and then it's time to get some finish applied. This and the longer staves, I'm gonna use some Treetex hard wax oil. So I'm gonna get that brushed on and leave it overnight to dry. The finish has dried overnight. So now I can get those tea lights put back in and get the bottle opener fitted onto this little stave. Now it just attaches with a couple of screws, but what I should have thought about before I put the finish on was how this gets to attach to a wall. I'm gonna use these little brass screw inserts, but I need to drill some more holes that are 10 mil at the top, then I can get them pushed into place. So that's the bottle opener done. Now I'm not gonna have a beer first thing in the morning just to demonstrate it, but the idea is, you use the cap lifter and then as the cap falls down, it gets caught by the magnets. So I've got the tea light holders and the bottle opener. I've got this one more stave that I did exactly the same thing as the tea light holders. So it's got the flat spots and I've already applied some finish. And what I'm gonna do is attach some of these brass coat hooks. So I'm gonna get three of those positioned and screwed on. And then again with the bottle opener, I should have done this before applying the finish, but I didn't think of it. I'm going to drill some holes and put some of those brass inserts in so it can be attached to the wall.
So that's them all done. Three simple craft projects using whiskey staves. So thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.